Hey everyone, we're Tim and Michelle Boylan from the Bar RC Ranch. We're here this evening just hanging out with you in our living room by the fire. Just thought we'd take some time to do a little fireside chat. We've uh, really appreciated you following us on YouTube and hanging out with our family, seeing some of the videos we've been putting out, getting to know us. But we thought uh, now might be a good time for you to get to know us maybe at a deeper level. Thought Michelle and I might spend some time sharing our story, how we met. Uh, our journey traveled over the last 17 years, how we got to where we are today. So thought we'd do a quick flashback, take you back 17 years ago to San Luis Obispo. I was attending Cal Poly, I was a kinesiology major, uh, looking at being a PE teacher, working on the beach as a lifeguard. I was mostly on the beach or in class or running or biking or swimming. Uh, but every Thursday night, or most every Thursday night, was my one late night out. Otherwise, I was in bed by <laughs> nine o'clock. Thursday night was the one night I'd stay out past nine, like to frequent the graduate in San Luis and go country line dancing. And uh, anyhow, I went one Thursday night, July 11th, 2002, to go country line dancing and life's never been the same. <laughs> <laughs> I love country line dancing. I was, um, I had graduated Cal Poly. I was animal science um, and I was working on my graduate degree in agriculture, um, agricultural education. So I wanted to be a high school ag teacher and um, I was working at a vet clinic as a veterinary technician, as well as uh, feeding and cleaning stalls at a barn and giving riding lessons and doing all that kind of fun camp stuff. And uh, yes, I like to stay out later usually, so I went dancing lots of nights if I possibly could, but I definitely always headed, headed to the grad every Thursday. And we met one Thursday night, it was awesome. We did, it was a little surf and turf experience. Yes. I actually thought he was a real cowboy. Well, I know. That's because I had jeans. That might and be something you don't hat. know. Yes. So, every, everything changed on that Thursday night. Hey, you guys, I'm Theo. And I'm Gus. And we're going to try and keep you guys caught up in the story with a quick little reenactment. Ready? I'm going to be Michelle. And I'm going to be Tim. All right, ready? Begin. I'm over here dancing, minding my own business. And then I walk and woo! Hot stuff. <laughs> Majorly. Mm, I like the way you cha-cha. <laughs> but we're both amazing dancers. We country Ooh. line dance like no other. We should date. Heck yeah, let's go. Okie dokie. <laughs> So Thursday night, I walk into the grad thinking it's another Thursday night and uh, met up with a couple friends and just started dancing and I spotted Michelle across the room and uh, knew I wanted to dance with her. I knew this was going to be a different night and I had to be pretty persistent. Uh, she had quite a few folks lined up wanting to dance with her. In real life, I had already written my phone number down on a napkin and I... <laughs> Went and slipped it in his pocket, and I was really hoping he would call me. I so that was a bit of a surprise. I thought I was going to have to really work much happened. harder at that to get her to go dance with me and, and hang out. But it worked out. Uh, we went out on a date, and five months later, we were married. So it all happened pretty quick, but we knew that this was something real special and real unique. Uh, because we had spent time talking, even you know, before we got married, we obviously spent time talking about what are the things that are important to us, what do we want life to look like together, uh, for each one of us, but life together. And so we uh, we really got, got down to writing out some of our, our talents and our passions and thought, hey, what would it look like for the two of us to come together and perhaps come up with one, or, you know, one vision, one purpose, really one goal in our life together? How would we do life truly together? And uh, we actually decided pretty quickly her, I, I enjoyed working with kids. I was a PE teacher, and so I knew I wanted to work with kids and do outdoor stuff. Horses and kids, mostly horses. So pretty quickly we decided one day that we wanted animals, to be on a ranch. all animals. One day we wanted to have a ranch where we could have horses, we could do hospitality, we could do kids camps. We actually wrote all this out on paper. We wrote out a vision statement. We wrote out a mission statement for, for camp and for leadership, for training. And again, mind you, this was 17 years ago. We had no idea this would all happen, but we it was a no dream. We have no land in our family. No no way to make this happen there was no clear way to make it happen but with intentionality and purpose writing it down saying you know what what whatever it might take we know this is the direction at least that we have to go we want to be intentional about moving in this direction 
so that really helped set the course for us as we got married and, and uh, pushed forward into the next 10 years. Ready? Scene. So, Michelle, now that we're married, what do you want to do with your life with me? Horses, 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 horses! Whoa, okay, okay. What else? Kids, 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 kids! Oh, I like kids, I like kids! Can we do camps? Can we do camps? Camps, kids, horses. Oh, All three. Let's go, let's go! We should write it down! Yes! But I don't have opposable thumbs. Uh, we will figure it out. All right, we will together. find our true north. <laughs> so one year into our married life together, we had this amazing plan of what we were going to do with our future life, um, which involved animals and kids and camps and cool things like that. And um, we started having kids, and there were no animals and no camps. And Tim is actually a very good athlete and so we found ourselves running across the United States instead so for the next seven years I um, got to support you in running around the uh, United States and actually it was for amazing causes and we met amazing people so that kind of formulated the next portion of our life do you have anything you want to say about it? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely, it was an, a, an incredible transition in going from the things you write down, the things you plan, the things you hope for in the future, and then what actually happens on a day-to-day -day <laughs> basis. And we did get excited about pursuing the ranch, but I also got pretty excited about running, got into fundraising. So in 2007, ended up running a marathon a day for 63 days, LA to New York, brought the kids, we moved into an RV. Had an amazing experience doing this uh, fundraising deal for the AT Children's Project. And then that got us get, getting into nonprofit work. And we really enjoyed working nonprofit. We really enjoyed supporting other nonprofits and enjoyed trying to raise money for kids that were struggling from different diseases, kids that were battling terminal illnesses. And it became a very, it was a passion project, right? I mean, how could you not get passionate about that, that type of work? So it was definitely a Definitely different than what we had planned in the beginning, uh, but it became something we could do for a period of time. And so, because running such a passion of mine, and then we both enjoyed helping kids, we found ourselves moving in that direction. And I really pursued that with everything I had. And in 2008, things changed financially, the market crashed, and it was a terrible time, not just to be in the nonprofit industry, but be trying, but trying to start a nonprofit, which is what I was trying to do. Scene. I'm going to the store to buy diapers. Oh, hurrah! Okay. <gasps> we have no money. <gasps> pedal to the bank. 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 Diapers, 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 diapers. <laughs> Michelle, we have no money. What? Ah! What do we do? Ah! Must pray. Must pray. God help. God help. So thinking it was just another Sunday, uh, walking into church and had a guy that we've known for years, pull Michelle and I aside and with no prompting, we had no idea this was coming. Said, Hey, Tim, Michelle, what are you guys doing? We said, why do you want to go to lunch today after church? He says, no, I need you to move to the ranch. We said, what? You have a ranch? We said, no, I don't have a ranch, but the company I work for, they have a ranch and there's horses everywhere and I don't know what to do. And he turns to Michelle and says, well, Michelle, you know something about horses, right? And yes, she says, I know something about horses. I love horses. I actually majored in horses. So, um, and he says, what? You can go to school for that? Yes, and he went that to is Cal what he said. <laughs> So we said, yeah, you can. And he said, well, great. Can you guys go tomorrow? So here we are four or five days prior thinking, you know, this is it. We're going to have no place to live in two weeks. So now we're being invited to come down to this ranch out in the country uh, with this possible job offer he says look you know we need some help we got about about five months of work i think that i've got for you down there there's a house down there where you can live you guys can move in down there stay on the property i need you to check check things out so michelle came down she checked it out she sounded was, great right yeah she was, she it was, was... <laughs> she was a little uncertain what she saw made her feel a little bit unsafe being so far from town we're an hour and a half this is gonna be an hour and a half move out to out to the country where there's no cell phone reception, there's no stores, there's no hospitals, there's nothing nearby. 45 minutes to a grocery store. And with your, when your kids are five, three, and one. And I have toddlers. You know, you, you'd like a little bit more security wrapped around the deal. Um, but 
our security was unraveling in town. We didn't have a place to live. The reality was we didn't have money. And so this was a really desperate situation. And so we know that desperate measures call for desperate times. Uh, and it also calls, calls for a bit of faith, right? So we know we got to step out and do this thing. So oh, we packed our bags. We put most of our stuff in storage. We packed a few grocery bags, plastic bags of some stuff for the kids, a few games. We, threw we literally them in. came down with five bags, five little bags of stuff. So we threw them into the back of this little horse trailer behind Michelle's little pickup truck. And we came down on a wet, cold, rainy night in November of 2009. We showed up to a really warm welcome. That is not the case. The um, gates actually at the front of the ranch were locked. It was pouring rain and very dark and getting late at night. I think it was around 9.30 or 10. Um, and thankfully somebody uh, came um, who we, we didn't know at the time um, and did let us into the gate. And then we drove down the driveway and we found the little house that we were supposed to be in. And it was pretty much the scariest night of my life at that point in time because we came into the house and um, it was rat infested and I had three little kids and it was freezing and pouring rain and there was um, there was electricity thank there goodness was. for that thank there you was. god but, um, there was no heat um, they, this house doesn't have central heat. We do have a fireplace, but uh, we didn't know how to use it at the time. We, we knew how to start a fire. We're not that slow. <laughs> but um, we didn't know how to work the door and things to get it working correctly. So it just pumped smoke constantly out into the house. So the house was full of smoke and we had to open all the windows. And it was pretty much the most miserable night ever. No um, gas. Yeah, None the of propane, the propane had been shut off. And, um, no hot water. Yeah, and we were no supposed to showers. start work the next day, and um, I was pretty discouraged at that moment. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was pretty tough. So we're at the ranch. Michelle, I will make a fire for us all. But you're only making a smoke. Well, I'm trying my best. Ah! Smoke, 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 smoke. We should just go to bed. Wait. Where are the beds? And where are the children? Ah! Not in bed! Ah! Gus, all of this stress is stressing me out! I know! This is such an intense story! Oh my goodness! Ah! We want to know what's going to happen with Tim and Michelle and their story. But maybe we could do it tomorrow? Ooh, that sounds good. I think that we should take a break. Yeah, so friends, if you want to check back tomorrow to see what happens with Tim and Michelle and their story, if they survive their time at the ranch, we'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching. 